Bethune-Cookman University, giving you relevant information, standing on a firm foundation of legacy, accredited academics, aggressive athletics, and the pride of BCU, the marching Wildcats. You're watching Webcat News. Hi, and welcome to Webcat News. I'm Cecily Wilson. Let's get you plugged into what's happening on campus. While the students are settling into their classrooms and dorm rooms as the semester kicks off in high gear and school officials are ensuring their safety and protecting their college experience with its public awareness campaign initiative called E2 Campus Alert. It's the university's emergency notification system to alert students, parents, faculty and staff of weather alerts or active threats that affect our campus. And it's vital that you're able to receive the information anywhere, anytime. So Daryl Melton, Emergency Management Coordinator, says you must register your cell phone and email information on the E2 Campus Alert site to get up to the minute alerts. Once they set up an account and they register, they have to make sure that they'll receive a text message via their phone. And when that text message comes in on their phone, they'll open it up, there'll be a four digit code. Once they're in their own registration site, there'll be a little window with a button that says validate. They'll enter that four digit code, click validate. It's very important that they validate everything they put in to the system that they're registered for. If they do not validate, it will remain unvalidated in red and they will not receive alerts. Once they validate, it will go green and active. It's that simple and it takes less than five minutes. So let's get her done. It's better to be safe than sorry. All right, switching gears. It's time to get it started. Football, that is. And I hope you have your tickets for the season opener. The Fighting Wildcats are going head to head or should I say, claw to claw, with the Prairie View Panthers during the Miak Swack Disney Challenge September 4th at the Citrus Bowl in Orlando. Now, if you don't have your tickets, it's not too late. You can purchase them at any Ticketmaster, and you don't want to miss the game or the host of planned activities for the entire family. Check this out. You can get your pregame praise on with Carter Tabernacle CME Church on the field and What's a football game without a heart and soul tailgate party? But this time, you don't have to pack the grill, pitch the tent, or even bring the food. It's all there. For a complete list of game day activities, log on to Cookman's homepage. And finally, before we go, we want to shine the light on a woman whose name is synonymous with Bethune-Cookman University and its legacy. When it comes to lifting every voice, there's only one. Dr. Rebecca Steele. Say the name Dr. Rebecca Steele and several things come to mind. This is one of those things when you say it's a living legend, it's a legend, she's a story, she is a story. A rich history. Dr. Steele herself brings so much history. Since 1976, her name has been synonymous with Bethune-Cookman's Concert Chorale. tell my kids, if you like what you're doing, keep doing it. And if you don't, do something else. Well, I just kept doing it. This is the second job that I've ever had. Uh, my first job was at FAMC. You know, knowing that she came and built this program up to a place of international greatness, you know? People all over the place, I sing a lot of different places and everyone knows Dr. Rebecca Steele. When I came here, they had about 30 people in the choir. Today, the concert chorale is nearly 100 members strong and all agree Dr. Steele is as much an institution as the institution herself. Dean of Arts and Humanities, Dr. James Brooks, plans on keeping it that way by giving her a new role, BCU Fundraiser. She's so ex excited about the new position of wanting to raise funds for the university, wanting to be a part still of the students, although she's not the director of the concert chorale any longer. I'm going to raise money to keep them in school because that was what I was doing all the time, making trips after trip after trip after trip. 
those trips with the concert chorale may be over for now, but her words will go on and on. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> You're good because I'm good. No, because I don't argue. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm sad. I am. You may be excused and do not come back if you're still upset. <laughs> Bye. If you have a BCU story idea or information you'd like to share, email us at webcatnews at cookman.edu. And if you've missed any episode, check us out on YouTube at Webcat News. And of course, we have more detailed Bethune-Cookman community news. Simply look out for our publication of the Weekly Digest in your email. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.